Hey guys, so we're gonna make my version of the beef stroganoff. Let's start. Okay, what we're gonna do first? I have some beef steak in here. I've already cut that one. Uh, you can just cut like you know some nice pieces of it, or you can you can you can use either ribeye steak or any other your preference basically. What we need to do with this one? Uh, we need to first fry this one. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter on my frying pan basically. I'm just gonna melt this butter and gonna bring the heat on the, a bit higher and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna fry our meat on this one. Okay, my butter is melted. I'm gonna add all the meat is 500 grams basically of meat in here. You want to spread it really nicely, this meat, basically, on a frying pan. Maybe spread it as nicely as you can uh, on our frying pan, because you want to cook everything even, evenly. Okay. Then we just need to golden brown this one at the moment. And we're going to do the rest of it. You can see it's very quickly, because of the beef is really quickly catching up the temperature you can see we just gonna to need to fry this one and in the meantime i'm gonna cut some onion like one medium onion i'm just gonna you know roughly dice it on this one because we're gonna add it after our beef we're gonna add some onion to the frying pan You know, you can you want to make it as, you know, as basically as small as possible. Don't worry, this one is still going to cook. They're going to be, you know, they're going to come better a bit, you know. We're going to get smaller a bit because they're going to obviously reduce on the, when they're going to cook. Then don't worry if it's not, you know, no perfect. If you are totally perfectionist, you can, you know, dice it as fine as possible for you. As much, you know, as this basically as you like it, you know. I'm always saying like you need to be if you're cooking for yourself, do it as you like it because you know in the end of the day you're gonna eat it, you're gonna you know enjoy this one. I have some things to run over the onion just run out trying to run out from my chopping but you can see our meat is like you know cut it nice cooking nicely. Okay, our meat I think is ready. It's basically until you don't see the most of the pink stuff. I'm gonna put it on the side. I'm gonna put it on a the plate. Then we're gonna put our frying pan back on stove. Then we're gonna add another tablespoon of butter to this one. And we're gonna add straight away to our chopped onion. You know, we're gonna add our chopped onion. We wanna, you know, Fry this nicely, the onion, until it's, you know, until it's more or less golden brown. I'm going to reduce a bit, you know, the heat on this. Like, little, just a little bit, don't, you know, not totally you want to reduce it. Then I'm going to chop some garlic. I know there's not many things, you're going to think like garlic, in, you know, this one. This is my own recipe, that's how I'm doing my own one, you know. Uh, I have three like small cloves of garlic in here. I'm just gonna mince it up nicely. This, you know, garlic. You can see it really nicely. You wanna make mince it up as you know as nice as possible. You know, I always said smash it, and then you can easily chop it. You know, dice it up or. Whatever. Okay, garlic is done. Our onion, I can see, start to from the side, golden up. This one is really the good thing is to add to my onion. I always add a little bit of salt. It's helped to you know. It's helped. Whoop, my thing is flying off <laughs> from my salt. The top of it is just fly off. Uh, it's good to add the salt. Um, to it because it's gonna make it the moisture go up and it's gonna go softer quicker basically the onion yes now the onion is almost ready then I'm gonna add 
garlic to it, garlic to my onion. I'm just gonna stir it up this one and I'm gonna start to cut mushrooms. How many mushrooms I have in here? I'm gonna just chop them, you know, guys, in a half. I have like small mushrooms. I'm just gonna chop them in a half, basically. Um, I'm just gonna look in one eye on this one and I'm gonna cut all my mushrooms. It's basically in here 300 grams of mushrooms. But I'm using, you can see, only the huts from the mouth of the mushrooms. I'm not using the legs. Like, I mean, the huts are like a bit more like, you know, I think the gentle, the taste and a bit, the, the bottom part is always a bit harder. You can use it for something else if you could, you may, you may making like cream soup or something, you know, you can always do it for that, you can add it there. Okay, my onion, I can see it's ready. I'm just gonna start to add, basically I'm gonna start straight away to add the mushroom, whatever I'm gonna cut in the middle, I'm just gonna add straight away because they're gonna start to, you know, cooking basically with this one, the onion is not gonna burn, basically. That's why you don't wanna, you don't wanna your onion to burn. Obviously, I wash my mushrooms uh, before, and I take out all the the bottoms, basically the bottom parts of them. If you have like this is basically like leftover mushroom in my fridge. I had like a bigger pack, and you can see that not they're already like they, I didn't want them basically to die totally, and that's why I'm using them in something like you know still like um. Like I can see, I'm doing the beef stroganoff. You can just use them in this one, and it's gonna be really nice, you know. Because they're gonna cook, they're gonna happen, one of them fly off literally on the floor. It's okay, I'm gonna clean it later on. Okay, now my mushroom. You're gonna think, like, in, for, a, after, for a second, they're gonna look like they don't wanna cook and they absorb. All the basically everything from inside, the, all the um, butter was melted. They're gonna absorb it, but after they're gonna start to cook, they're gonna release all the water and everything and become like really nice. Just give them like, you know, one, two minutes, they're gonna start, you know, they're gonna start to cook, they're gonna start reducing like the, all this like juices inside and it's gonna be really nice. Okay, after a few minutes, guys, you can see the mushroom, they start to, you know, they start releasing all the juices. Everything is start to looking really nice. Um, after that, in this stage, I can add some. I have in here the whole grain mustard. You can basically add Dijon mustard if you have it. I'm adding this one because I basically I have this one at the moment. But if I will have Dijon, I will prefer to use the Dijon in this one. It's gonna add this like kind of like deep, you know, deep flavor to our dish. I'm just gonna stir it up, and it's gonna obviously a bit of texture because it's you know, the grains in there. There's a whole grain. Basically, I'm saying I will use Dijon if I will have Dijon. It's a bit better because you're gonna see, you know, on this one you're gonna see a bit of seeds in our sauce. I'm okay with that. Okay, I have in here a shot of brandy. You can use either brandy. I'm gonna add it as well to this one. We're gonna cook and evaporate. If you don't drink alcohol, you can. Basically, alcohol is gonna evaporate now when I'm cooking. Then you're gonna just leave this nice flavor. But if you don't drink alcohol, you can use either beef stock or if you don't like brandy or you don't have brandy and you have like white wine, you can use the white wine in here. Just add a shot of it, you know, if you add like this one, it's like you can see, just uh, trust me guys, this smell in here is basically like, wow, amazing. As I'm saying, you can see a bit of grains in here, but I'm okay with that. I don't need to, you know, it's gonna be a bit of texture in my sauce. But I will say I will recommend to use the Dijon mustard because it's gonna be like this nice and smooth sauce in this one. I'm gonna let it uh, reduce a bit, the alcohol evaporate, and just give it like one or two minutes to fry it. Okay, after a few minutes, my sauce is gonna reduce a bit. I'm gonna add our beef to now to the basically to all all of our mushrooms and our sauce. I'm just gonna really nicely give them a stir in here. The beef is like really soft because you remember you don't want to cook it. Okay, there's two options which you can do. You can cook it even really long until it's softened up, or you just like cook them for a few 
for the basic until it's just cut and the inside is still soft that's why it's gonna make it as well really nice and tender inside it's not gonna be like hard as a rock basically you don't want to you know your dish to be like this way what else I'm gonna add to this I'm just gonna in a second I'm gonna add our spices I'm gonna add some salt and pepper basically a lot of pepper my pepper grinder is like making it really hard if you need to take a million times you need to grind it to add it you want to add a really nice touch of um, pepper to the dish obviously you're gonna think it's like a, lo a lot a lot but it's not a lot because like my pepper grinder is like taking a bit of time you know to do it i'm gonna add as well as salt like just a few times you will add because basically the meat it's not it's not seasoned you know meat the, the meat is gonna absorb all the flavors now as it's cooking with all of this stuff it's gonna absorb all of our goodness in here yes look at this it's like i know it's at the moment it's look like really dark in color but it's really trust me the smell of it it's it's really amazing guys i wish you can smell the swing what is in here cooking it's really really nice okay i'm gonna let it cook just for a second because i want to meal our meat to absorb the juices and everything from the this one and i'm gonna show you the rest of it okay what i'm gonna add now i have one teaspoon of worcester cheddar sauce trust me i'm learning how to say this one really badly the, the sauce is gonna add kind of like umami flavor to our dish like uh, you just add like you know teaspoon or a bit more than teaspoon of worcester cheddar sauce i'm getting better with this you know name of the this sauce <laughs> okay i think this one is like getting there i'm gonna add now some heavy cream basically you just want to add you know like i have in here 300 milliliters of like double cream and two tablespoons of sour cream because you know you want this richness in our sauce you know it's going to become trust me it's going to the it's not going it's going to combine really nicely it's going to be really creamy and now we want to cook our sauce until it's you know everything is reduced it's going to meet it's going to be you know it's going to absorb it's going to take a few minutes until the pan is gonna you know heat up and then we're gonna just cook it until everything is combined really nicely okay basically guys after a few minutes my sauce is reduced really nicely look at this coated everything um, I'm gonna just now serving on I just made some gnocchi you can you can this one you can serve it on so many different things you can serve it on over the rice over the pasta you can serve it over the I'm gonna do my one over the gnocchi and I'm gonna show you I have in here a nice, really nice bowl of gnocchi and just make it really nicely. The second ago, just boil some gnocchi. I can make you one day recipe how to make it basically. Easy, easy way to make it from the, if you have any leftover, um, any leftover potatoes. I'm just gonna put them on the top. I'm gonna add just our sauce and our, all the goodness, the stroganoff. Just really nicely on top of it. A small portion, you know, like really nice small portion for you guys. Okay, think on this one, and I'm gonna add some nice and fresh, like you know, parsley on top of it. I'm just gonna take the ends of it. I'm just gonna add basically just the leaves, really nicely. Put them together and slice them up really nicely. Okay, that's that one, my touch to the gnocchi on top of it, and there it is. This is my version of the beef stroganoff. Really nice, creamy, but this is my own version. Normally you don't put that much cream, you can put a little bit less cream if you like it. I serve my bowl and gnocchi, you can serve it either way, whatever you like it, you can serve it on of it. Okay, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up subscribe and see you in the next one thank you